ready. What's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's been a while it's been two weeks since i've watched black sales it's been two weeks I'm getting an early start because i need to put some episodes out on um on early access i do need to do that because if i do not do that by this weekend youtube is going to catch up so I have to drop some episodes for early access but just in case you guys on youtube are seeing this that you're just exclusively on youtube and enjoying the free content um i do have to say you guys have really surprised me i think we got about 11 people watching black sales on early access so i really do appreciate that hopefully you guys will stick around after i finish black sales we know this is the final season so hopefully you guys stick around of course i got plenty of shows to watch in the arsenal ready to pull back and let it go so without no further ado i'm not gonna waste any more more time on the intro here just know your boys out here working last weekend i didn't get to do any black sales reactions even though I was putting out the ones that were already on early access, I didn't get a chance to record any new footage. Reason being because of the main fact, right? That I pulled a muscle in my back, right? I was right under my arm. I feel so much better now, you know? So I, I basically canceled everything the streams everything i do over the weekend like everything was canceled i was back on sunday with reactions i was good enough i think i, I pulled my i pulled the muscle i think it was friday was it friday no it wasn't friday it was thursday or was it friday i think it was friday um but I couldn't do anything, man. I couldn't sit up straight. I put that video out updating you guys about what was going on and why I wouldn't be able to put out any content and stuff like that. Let's jump into these episodes, man. I'm excited to jump back into some more black sales. Um, hopefully having a long session tonight so I can drop like about four episodes on early access. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Appreciate y'all. Let's jump into it. I'll see you guys for the review. wonderful episode <laughs> wonderful episode really well done episode um man to for for blackbeard to go out like that but y'all don't even understand how that man went out like a g z was still fighting you know what i'm saying and i'm wondering if this is how they, they ain't no rescue in sight for them. So I'm, I, I, everybody is pretty much dead. Um, and Jack, I guess this is how they go out. I, I, I don't even know, bro. Like, this is kind of nutty because my opinion on the episode might differ from a lot of people. And as I said, as I was saying during the episode, you know, a lot of people they're so gung-ho about capital punishment and they don't understand that no human being deserves to do to be, listen no matter if a murderer kills kills another person that person did deserve to die like that and the same goes for if you are killing an, another person regardless of if it's lethal injection electrical chair hanging it doesn't matter you deliberately taking a life especially a defense less life I don't care what you want to say. I don't care what people want to say. Uh oh, you would feel different if it was your family. No, I wouldn't feel any different. I wouldn't feel any different. There's a reason why 
there's a reason why there are consequences to your actions if 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 it was my family member that killed another person i would want them to rot in jail i'm not i'm if if it's proven right if it's proven uh, you, you know what i'm saying outright that they did it and they know they did it and this wasn't a frame job and it wasn't self-defense and you went out there and you murdered somebody you need to rot in jail i don't care if you're my family member i don't care but if they decide that they're going to kill you i'm gonna be against it you know what i'm saying if they decide that they're going to kill you by lethal injection i'm going to be against it no matter who it is no matter what they've done I don't believe in capital punishment. I don't think anybody should have the right to take a life, no matter who you are. I don't care if you're the government. I don't think anybody should have the right to take a life, no matter what the situation is, unless it's self-defense. So let me make it very clear. If it's self-defense, fine. You get what I'm saying? You're defending yourself. You just happen to kill the person before they kill you. It's a whole different story. It's the only time where murder is justified. There's no other time when murder is justified. It's no other time. Right? So I don't like to really see that stuff in, on, on screen. The thing, the thing about it is that you might want to make the argument and say, Oh, so you like to see the bad guy get killed? No, it's not real. I'm talking about in real life. In the show and in the context of the show, you get what I'm saying? In the context of the show where I know that these guys are just trying to be, man. And this is why you, you, you just don't let them back in. You can't take a colony. Yo, y'all don't understand, man. Like, from what I know, what I've read, read about the English and the Spanish and all those times they were warned... It's some savage times, man. And it didn't stop there either. I mean, you're talking about World War One, World War Two. How many people died in World War One? How many people died in World War Two? It never ends, man. The cycle just keeps going. It never ends. You know? So for me, when I look at this from from the context of the show, right? Yeah, I wanna see somebody like and to get what's coming to him there's no need for them to murder these people to hang them you understand what i'm saying there's no reason based on some silly ass conspiracy you came to provide peace but yet nothing about what they're doing is peaceful oh they 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 they, they, they attacked us right you guys came and took everything that these people wanted especially eleanor they were trying you know what i'm saying flint was trying to create peace that didn't happen because of the bitch peter you know what i'm saying that turned on him oh you need to offer yourself up as a sacrifice you know what i'm saying dude came in bus miss barlow um you know what i'm saying in the head just because she stood up and was angry at Peter because of what he did. And what do y'all thought it was going to be? You thought this was all going to be friendly? Let's, let's all just get along? This is crazy, man. For them to go th that far, it was unnecessary. I could understand if, if, if they had just went around and shot everybody in the head. Totally understand. The torture is absolutely ridiculous think hanging is also a torture before that it's you get what i'm saying lethal injection not so much even though they do make sure that they do make sure that the prisoners are like not allergic to the the, the injection and stuff like that or you know so they don't have like an allergic reaction and you know end up getting like a stroke and don't die or something of the situation or they die or, or they suffer and die because then the, the family can actually sue the government if 
the person suffers before they die like it should be a very painless death the lethal injection but if it happens like if they have an allergic reaction to it something like that the family can actually sue the government um it's it, it's i just don't like it bro <laughs> i just don't like capital punishment i just don't feel like people you know lock him up forever man you know what i'm saying i know this was back in the day so they weren't trying to do anything like that it was like you commit a crime you get you you can just get sentenced to death on the spot you know what i'm saying um treason whatever whatever the situation is i'm wondering if this is going to make eleanor change her mind about everything maybe maybe not she's definitely not getting off the island now so so she's definitely not getting off the island now so another problem persists because now they're gonna basically lock themselves up in the fort she can't leave to go get help from her daddy not from her daddy or granddaddy right so that plan is out the window so whatever mr M mr governor is coming back to is not going to be what he expect to come back to because because of this idiot that he left in charge of the place eleanor didn't get to leave eleanor didn't get to leave so that's where we at with that but in any case i know you guys are gonna be in the comment section telling me how you feel about capital punishment do as you will i talk about it on every pretty much every show that i react to that it involves stuff like this i usually do that um it, I, you know and I, I i understand that some people you know they agree with capital punishment i'm just not one for it i'm just i'm i'm very 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 against it you know what i'm saying but i know there are people out there that are pro capital punishment for sure you know i've talk to people on channel i've talked to people on discord about it like privately before you know what i'm saying so um and 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 we can come you know we always understand each other about these things man because not any not everything is said it is set in stone for you to be like we can always have a stance on things just like how you know what i'm saying i'm not you know what i'm saying i i believe that you know women should have the right to abort i just don't like the idea of abortion you know what i'm saying you can say i'm pro-life you know what i'm saying you can say i'm pro-life but at the same time it's like i'm saying um for women who decide to do that make sure you understand what the consequences of that is you know what i'm saying i don't have no right to tell you what to do i get that but i, I would rather you you know what i'm saying but people they don't want to do it they don't want to do it it's your decision people have i can't do anything about it i can't take away your decision i would much rather you have the baby and give it up for adoption there's plenty of people out here that want babies that can't have babies you know what i'm saying and we out here killing them and that's just me that's just my stance you know what i'm saying like i'm not gonna hide what i believe in just because you know people are gonna try to cancel me or what i don't care and that's just me. I, I I could care less if anybody out there want to cancel me based on my beliefs. That's just my beliefs. It's my opinion, and it's my beliefs. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. You know what I mean? And this show really does stirs up some stuff when it comes on to that stuff. Because I know it was back in the day. It was You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was brutal, man. I can't even... <sighs> that that's just wrong bro that's just wrong i don't care if people are terrorists and they, like that's why so many people was so against waterboarding because it's horrible it's a horrible thing to torture people man i don't care what they do and i know some people's gonna be like how else we gonna get the information from people it's like bro like you can't get the information so you gotta bring the person to near death to get a confession and it might not even be a confession the person might just be lying to get out of the situation so i'm out i'm out guys because we're getting into territories now that you know what i'm saying i'm just saying you guys can discuss it amongst yourselves 
I'm out, guys. Like, comment, dislike, whatever you want to do. I'm out. Peace.